A meteor shower is a celestial event in which a number of meteors are observed to radiate or originate from one point in the night sky called radiant. These meteors are caused by streams of cosmic debris called meteoroids, which enter the Earth's atmosphere at extremely high speeds on parallel trajectories. Now, after a very long break, the meteor season is back with the annual peak of the Lyrid meteor shower in April. So the Lyrids are set to become active in 2021 around April 15th and this is according to the American Meteor Society and it is set to peak on the evening of April 21st into the early morning hours of April 22nd. So if you can't get out that night or the weather doesn't cooperate where you are, one night before or after the peak is also expected to present a pretty good viewing opportunity as well. Now the Lyrids don't produce a whole lot of meteors, perhaps just 10 to 15 per hour, but are more likely to include bright dramatic fireballs compared to other major showers. So the source of the Lyrids is the debris cloud left behind by a comet named C1861 G1 Thatcher that was last seen in the 19th century and won't pass through the inner solar system again for about uh, more than two centuries. So each year though, our planet drifts through the dust cloud it left behind on previous visits. Little space pebbles and other bits of dust and debris collide with our atmosphere and burn up high above us, producing those fleeting little light shows. This year, with a moon that will be more than two-thirds full at the peak of the Lyrids, it's probably best to try and see the show before dawn and after the moon has set at your location. So whenever you go out to look for Lyrids, get as far away from light pollution as much as possible and find a spot like an open field or hilltop with a broad unobstructed view of the night sky. Lie down, let your eyes adjust and relax and just watch. It's not necessary to look at a particular part of the sky, but the Lyrids will appear to be uh, projecting outward from their namesake constellation Lyra, traveling away from that part of the sky like spokes on a wheel. So if you can find Lyra and orient yourself toward it, that's great but absolutely not required. So April 22nd, 2021, before dawn, the Lyrids are at its peak and the Lyrid meteor shower, also called the April's shooting stars, would last from about April 16th to 25th. So about 10 to 15 meteors per hour can be expected around the shower's peak in a dark sky. So this year, the best time to watch may be the hour um, or two between moonset and dawn. So this was all about the April's meteor shower and I hope you get to witness the Lyrid meteor shower and do let me know in the comment section how excited you are to witness this meteor shower and whether you managed to witness it or not. And I shall see you all next time again with another interesting video. Till then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.